During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk just a little bit about how many seeds a weed can produce and how long those weed seeds are viable. Oh man, this is a depressing topic to start the show off with, Brian. I when I have so. a weed that gets away in my field and it goes to seed, that's not a good thing. And you think about, well, it could hurt your crop this year. That's one thing to focus on. But what we're talking about today is focusing on, well, what is the long-term impact of letting a weed get away in your field? Right, but here's the reason why this isn't depressing is when you realize that for a lot of these weeds, many don't even germinate and many don't last very long in the soil, then you get a lot more excited. And also it's just nice to know, well, which ones am I going to have to worry about in the future and which ones will I probably not? All right, so let's talk about a little experiment we did on our farm and we saw this very first hand. We had some foxtail seed uh, that got produced in a field. We had one little spot where we didn't get the grass control just right or we had a wide gap with the sprayer, whatever the case may be. And we had some grass, some foxtail, go to seed on us. Well, right away you think, oh no, foxtail does produce quite a few seeds. You can see them right on that head. There's tons of seed there. We're going to have a problem for years and years to come. And you know what? The next year, there was a big problem in that area. A lot of those seeds germinated in the first well, year. It wasn't just that next year. It was we were fighting it for about five years. So with foxtail seeds, they might last five to ten years, something like that, in the soil. So they're going to remain viable a long time. Now, on the other hand, kochia is one of the worst weeds that we fight. Kochia seems to survive very well in drought, in heat, in salt, in almost anything. In fact, I often tell researchers on the biotech side, why don't you just take whatever's in kochia that makes it live in any soil condition and use that? But anyway, the thing with kochia is that will typically only last maybe a couple of years in terms of how long that seed is viable. And in terms of the actual viability of any seed out there, the germination percentage is quite low. It's five to 10% usually. The other thing that's interesting with kochia is how it spreads in the field. And often you see those tumbleweeds blowing through a field. And the next year you can see a path right where the tumbleweeds blow uh, or blew through the field. Oftentimes with the northwest wind in the fall and winter, those tumbleweeds are moving northwest to southeast in the field. And you'll see that streak right across the field the next year. All right, now the worst weed that most farmers are fighting today is water hemp or some people will say palmer pigweed. They're basically the same weed. They're both smooth pigweeds. The problem with them is they can put on about a million seeds per plant. Just think about that. One million seeds per plant. Now the germination percentage there too is pretty low. A lot of times we're talking 10% or a little more, but still even 10% of a million is 100,000 seeds and those seeds are usually viable four to six years. So in other words, the farmer's got to do a perfect job of weed control for six years in order to very much reduce the weed population out in that field. Well, you may have a lawn or a garden, or maybe you're farming some too, and you see a weed that gets away here or there. It can be a big problem, but most of that impact is felt the first couple of years. There's a few weeds that can last five years or more. The seeds can last five years or more, but it is something that you have to be aware of. If you have a weed escape the next year, you got to be ready for it because the weeds will be coming. Well, speaking of weeds, we've got a weed coming up later that looks an awful lot like a crop, but we're going to tell you how to stop it on your farm.